So I printed off a part for my ANET A8, and this is a part for the Y belt tensioner. And this hex nut says it's an M4 size nut, but I went out and bought M4 size nuts, and it is too big for an M4 size nut. So I'm going to show you how I design my 3D prints and how I countersink a hex nut into the print. So I need to cover up this old hex nut hole. Okay, so to get rid of this old hex hole, just combine these. So now it's one solid part. Then I take a cylinder, and the hole that was in there was five by five. And when I measure my hex nut, this is 6.8, but to ensure my hex nut fits tightly in here, I'll put it at 6.7. And then from this point to this point on the hex nut, so from here to here is 7.7 .7 millimeters, so I'll put this at 7.6. And then the thickness is three millimeters, and I'll put this at 3.2. Then we'll align these two parts. Make sure they're aligned center on that side, center on that side, and the bottom. This I will lower a couple millimeters. Select everything and align it. And you want this cylinder going clean through the piece just so you make sure you have a uh, hole clear through this. Now I'll move this nut all the way down. And I made this about a 3.2. So to ensure that the hex nut hole is contiguous on this model, I will align it with the top of this model right here. You can start seeing red show up here. And that means it's even with the top of that model. Then I'll go up to, I have my grid set to 0.1 millimeter. Then I will turn the cylinder and the hex into a hole. And then I will select everything and combine them. So now I have a hole clear through my piece and this is an M4 nut sized hex cutout minus 0.1 millimeter so that the nut fits in here nice and tight. So we'll save this, download this as an STL. Then I import it into NetFab 2018 to check to make sure everything is uh, okay with the model. And NetFab just runs a check on your on your uh, STL model or your 3D model and tells you if you have any bad edges or your surface isn't closed or uh, surface is flipped backwards. And then I run a repair script on it just to make sure it's good. Remove the old part, then export that as an STL. So I'm going to print this at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. And for strength, I'm going to put this at three times the wall thickness, 50% infill. So I've uploaded the G code to my Raspberry Pi Octoprint server. And hit print. So here's the original print. 
And the README file says it takes an M4 nut, and this is an M4 nut and an M4 screw. It is too big. So I redesigned it in Tinkercad to take a M4 nut, made it 0.1 millimeter less than the size of this hex nut. So I'll show you how to countersink this hex nut into this 3D printed piece of plastic. Get a pair of pliers, take a heat gun, and heat this up for about 30 seconds. Take your bolt and line the nut up with the hole and push it in. Till the nut is even with the edge of the plastic. And it'll nicely melt in there because it's only 0.1 millimeter size difference and you can easily push that in there. And before it cools, make sure it's straight this way and straight that way. You can even mount this in a drill press and just use the drill press to push down and push it straight down. But the pliers works just as well if you are careful. See there's a little bit of plastic nipple here where you push the uh, bolt through. You can trim it off with the razor. Get a ceramic tile which is completely flat, no, no ridges or anything in it, and some 400 or 600 grit wet and dry sands paper. This is 600 grit. Spray some water on there and go to town. Now you have a nice flat surface. But that is how to securely countersink a hex nut into 3D printed parts.